Hello and welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how I get ready for work and if you want to know how I did this look, please keep on watching. And I already did my eyebrows, I used the Balm Sai palette from the Balm and I just be cleaning my eyebrows using this NYX Cosmetics, this one. So I just... For normal days, I just do my face quite fast since I already got used in doing it because I normally just do the same look. I normally start with my eyebrows because I feel like it frames the face and it just gives me like a better idea on how I do the look. If I run out of time and I, al I already did my eyebrows, I feel like I'm good and then I just can retouch at work. So today is April 6 and the current time is 12.30 and to be at work at 2 p.m. Then I'm just using this angel veil from NYX. Just put it on here on my nose and here. And what's left, I'll just put it on my chin and also on my forehead. Just using a padding motion. So this primer, it just helps to smoothen the makeup application. Good for all skin types, but preferably dry skin. Since I have dry patches here around my nose area because I'm using, I'm currently using Acritine. After that, I normally proceed with this. If I don't prime my face, this is the Bello Tinted Sunscreen, but since I already used the Angel Veil Primer, I'll skip that one. And for foundation, I normally go for Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation for the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. And I'm almost running out of my Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. So I'll be using now this Wet n Wild Foundation, and it's in the shade Soft Peach. Then I'll just use this brush. Um, Real Techniques. I, I like Real Techniques brushes since I've noticed that it applies the product on my face very well. I either use this or this one. And normally if I feel like it's already good uh, coverage, I don't go for a second layer but since I go, I'm going to work, I'll put a second layer. And I'll just focus it here on the areas where I got scars and hyperpigmentation. And as you can see, my skin is really doing well because of the help of activity and also the skincare that I've been currently doing. It's really helping my face. If you try to compare my face from before, like past last December, you'll notice a huge difference. So. You might want to check that out on how I use Acritine. I'll be linking it here on the card center. Once that's done, of course, I will correct. I'll be using the corrector from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Correcting Palette. And I'll use the green shade. And I'll use the, this one, the corrector, the yellow one. Because I have darkness here. I don't know. I've noticed that it's getting worse. And it... I don't correct this area, especially here on the sides of my the bridge of, on the sides of the nose bridge. Doesn't look good, so I try to use corrector first, then I'll put some here also, so I still have a little bit darkness there. Then I'll just go over it with a foundation. Then I'll just go over it with the same foundation brush. I didn't add any more product. And also blend the concealer after I blended it with my fingers with the same brush. I'll be using the same NYX concealer in the shade 4 beige to highlight this area and also on the 
scars. This will also serve as my eyeshadow base or primer. Then I'll just go over it one more time. Now I've been loving to set my face with a loose powder because I've noticed a huge difference. It really makes my makeup last longer. And I'll just go be adding this powder from Nichido in the shade Ivory Glow with the same pop that comes with it. Or sometimes I use my wet beauty blender, the same one that I use for any sponge. And I haven't uploaded any video for like two weeks now. But I still have a lot of <coughs> I have a lot of content on my mind but I feel lazy filming because I normally wake up late and I don't know why. Then I'll just be dusting it off with this brush from BH Cosmetics. Now I'll be proceeding to contouring. I already have a long face and slim face so I don't contour as much. I've learned not to, you know, each day I learn something new on how to put on makeup, like techniques on how to do things. Then I just put a little bit here and drag it down towards my neck. And I'll be adding a little bit here, but not much. And while using a padding motion, then I'll go a little bit out. But I'm not adding more product. After that, I'll just if I need if I feel like I need more, I just add more. But only here. Because I don't want my face to look like longer, slimmer. Then I'll go over a little bit here, here. Then I'll just add contour on it later from the bomb. This is in the shade Bahama Mama. I really love this to contour or just you know, bronze up my face if I need to, to balance out the makeup. And also my favorite, one of my favorite as well is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour in the shade medium. I used to have that one but I gave it away. Then I'll just go over it with the same powder brush that I've used earlier and also on the areas where I put my contour. I'll just to blend it seamlessly. Now I'll start putting on blush. And I'm just using this palette from the bomb in the in the bottom of your hands volume one palette which i've been really loving since i got got this one like i think two years ago right i'll just po focus the product on the apples of my cheeks but i try to make it straight i don't want to try to drag it down since i already have a long face i really like this blush from this is the in stain this is a long wearing Staining powder blush in Argan. I normally reach for this blush because this really, really lasts me for eight hours, like my whole shift. And I don't do retouch. I don't normally retouch my makeup. I just pat it with tissue, and that's it. So I'll be using one from Mary Luminizer. My favorite as well but I won't be adding here anymore since my nose tends to get quite oily so I'll just be adding it here on the bridge of my nose and also here in the inner corners of my eye and also underneath my eyebrow I prefer this kind of brush compared to the fan brush because I feel like it applies the highlighter more like precisely like that one and I get more product when I use this one then once more so using the same brush with the blush I just go over it and sometimes I add hot, hot mama on top this one is a shadow blush 
I'll just go with this brush in Cabana Boy. This. this is Cabana Boy. This is Instinct. This is Hot Mama. Mary Luminizer Bahama Mama. I'll put it here. Then the edges, I'll just blend it using circular motions. Small circular motions. Okay, I'm just putting it on my crease. And if I feel like I need more, I just add more. Then I'll just blend it. Focus it first on my crease area. And then I blend up. So I'll just go for Hot Mama this time. And then I'll just put it all over my head. I go again with the Cabana Boy. And then inside, I use my fingertips to add more Mary Lou when I And I just add it to blend. Using a clean brush, I'll blend the edges and blend it out, outward. Using my favorite brush from Wet n Wild, I'll be doing a highlight. And my favorite gel liner from Inkblot. I just dip it a little bit and a little bit goes a long way try to make it even first and when I feel like I have a nice shape I start lining it while well, my eyes are open. And I'll just go over on the edges with a concealer brush to clean it out and to this mistake, I'll just clean it with a column pad. Mascara, I use this one from NYX. This is the Word to Hide Mascara. So I try to start from the roots and then wiggle it out, outwards. And what's nice about this product is that even if you try to lay it more and more, like coat it twice, try, it doesn't clump up. And it's, it really looks natural while making your lashes longer and volumized. To moisturize my lips, which I forgot earlier, I'll just be using this Vaseline. I'll use this makeup setting spray from Milani. This is the Make It Last. So my lip cream from NYX in the shade room. Just line the edges of my lips first. The room is a good shade. It matches most skin colors. This tends to get really drying if you don't moisturize your lips. And you need to build this product up. I'll go over it with my favorite floss. I either go for the this is the NYX lip lingerie shimmer in the shade five sable sable. And I'll just start hitting it here. I'll just put it here, focus it on the middle of my lips. Like so, then I just do it. I just smack my lips, just curl my lashes, and that's the finished look. So that's it, and thank you for watching another video. And feel free to comment and subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell for more videos. See you on my next one. Bye!